You, I just walked in and sat on her and started talking to her while she's peeing. And she's like, I can't get off of me, you freak. Yeah. Like, she was screaming <laughs> at me. And I just no. thought it was crazy. I don't really know what was going through my head. Um, I didn't really know what to expect when I got here, but I kind of assumed like how everything would probably look like landscape wise and everything. I was just glad to be off of a plane and out of an airport. I was really tired. <laughs> so I, it was a really long flight. I don't know, it, it was cool seeing David after several years. Uh, the hair is gone. It's crazy. I can, I can deal with that. <laughs> there wasn't really a whole lot of catching up to do because it was just kind of like, you know, we, he came and got me and we went to the gallery and I tried to drink a bunch of coffee and it was just kind of like, oh talking about everything that happened back then and I don't know, not a whole lot has happened now. I, you know, I've been working on documentary for a while, so. Your first time to Norway? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. cool. oh, okay. You want the milk or Tell me how you're feeling. Very tired and dirty. <laughs> Why is that? Because I haven't showered. <laughs> I got off of <laughs> How's your flight? Uh, long. Long. Very tired right now. <laughs> Did you travel from California? Yeah, I'm from yeah. San Francisco. Wow, it's a long trip. Yeah. So what have you done today so far? Um. No, try to drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> try to stay awake. Yeah. Yeah. That's about it. So have you did you have you seen the documentary? No, I have not. You haven't? No. I did a radio interview and a newspaper interview. They both brought video cameras. I don't know why. I wish they hadn't. Um, the first day as soon as I got the plane, we were at the gallery for a while and then I guess we, we went straight to the radio station, which I don't remember anything I was seeing on the radio because I was really tired. I spent like 13 hours going from like plane to airport to plane to airport, you know, that kind of routine. And I hadn't showered and I just wanted sleep. You can curse on Norwegian radio, no it's problem. Fun. You can say dick and you can say fuck. Yeah, that's cursing. <laughs> mm -hmm.
Lady Gaga og Beyoncé i telefon i banden på Petri. Nu har noe ja, ganske uvanlig til banden å være skjedd. For med mig i studiet nå sitter en vaskeekte amerikansk pornostjerne faktisk. Holly Stevens heter hun, er på besök i Norge fordi en norsk kunstner som heter David har laget en dokumentar om henne og noen spesielle klovne porno som hun er kjent for å medvirke i. Mer om det etter hvert da, men nå er det jo egentlig på tide å slå om til engelsk og hilse på pornostjerne Holly Stevens. Welcome to our show, Holly. Oh, good to be here. Um, the first question that comes to mind uh, is clown porn. What is it? what is clown porn? It's exactly what it is. <laughs> I I am known as the queen of clown porn. That is my title. Yeah. It was I guess it was a good interview for the radio station. I guess they have a lot of listeners and they seem to be entertained by it. So Good for them, because I don't remember shit. Newspaper interview is kind of the same as the radio interview. I, everyone wanted to ask me, what is clown porn? And I always thought it was pretty self-explanatory, but I guess people here were looking for something deeper than that. I have no idea. So I had to explain that, it, well, it is clowns fucking on film. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, you can't really get any deeper than that. It's just pretty straightforward. I stayed during my time here at David's Place, which is a house above a 7-Eleven, which is kind of amazing, because you get <laughs> all the enjoyment of 7-Eleven right below you, or by your doorstep, but you also get drunk people screaming at each other late at night like four in the morning, drunk couples or whatever, or people shouting and cheering because they're drunk. Can't blame them because I think we were there a couple times while I was in town, so. Circus sur retour, musiken är med gura, bekattan är kommer med ligger på lur. Circus sur retour, musiken är med gura, bekattan är kommer med ligger på lur. Som går under i tippe, trippe, sippe, grape, juice, gör man sanna som sippe, man lever med ord och spår med sprit, svin som är spitte. Häng står man och resippe, fisket är ting som är grym, med rivning, när arkivet spis, när pirar med monkey boy. You're from San Francisco? Yes. Uh -huh. Christina, I've seen, I've seen uh, a documentary. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Norway. Thank you. I, I saw your uh, thing on the uh, Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now you're a Trondheim celebrity. Come on. I will make you a Trondheim celebrity. I want to be the next Trondheim celebrity. <laughs> Yeah, I did a photo shoot with Jason. Um, <laughs> didn't really know what we were going to be shooting there. Uh, it ended up in the end me being, uh, well, my tits hanging out, the Norwegian flag stuck in my afro, and a bottle of vodka and salmon between my legs. So that was entertaining. I haven't seen the photos yet. I'm sure that they're just breathtaking. The day of the opening, I was super hungover and we went to the gallery and David did a speech while I passed out flowers to everybody, which I really didn't want to do because my head was throbbing. But afterwards, I uh, tried to take a power nap and then uh, went to a dinner with um, the faculty and the students and the teacher. Yeah. I was trying not to drink that day, but all they were serving was champagne and wine. Pretty much. They didn't even have water. <laughs> I think they finally served water at the end. 
Yeah, 18th we went to the cinema and um, watched the film for the first time, not hungover. <laughs> it's interesting seeing what my friends had to say on the film and all the cuts and everything that were done. My, my favorite was uh, when Marugan was swallowing a sword and I start talking about how I've never been molested. <laughs> No, no, I, I was never molested or as a kid. <laughs> I, yeah, I had a, I had a good childhood. It, it was interesting to see like how the audience reacted to it. I, it was pretty well. Nobody walked out. I don't think. Everyone always loves the part when I'm going in detail about how I pissed on my friend Stephen and how he smelled like Gouda. I couldn't stop peeing. <laughs> I just kept going and I started feeling bad and I wanted to hold it, but I just thought, fuck it, he asked me to pee on him, I'm gonna pee on him. I don't know, it seemed like I was peeing forever. <laughs> I just couldn't stop. <laughs> I didn't really know what to expect of the film. I was hoping David would make me look like a fucking idiot, which um, he did a successful job at that, I think, hopefully. I think so. So <laughs> I, I thought it, I thought it was really well done. I thought it was well put together. I've been lost, I've been found, I've been wasted around, I've seen trouble on my way. Well, I've had many dreams as I've been rambling round, but I've never found peace in my mind Oh Jesus won't you help me Lord can you see that I'm down I've been drinking I've been cursing I've been sleeping with lots of women as I've been wandering from town to town Oh Help me Well my life ain't worth much Cause I've been out of touch With everybody who ever cared to care I use a tree as a chapel And the stars as my map Beans and bourbon for my hunger Oh, Jesus, won't you help me? Lord, can you see that I'm down? I've been drinking, I've been cursing I've been sleeping with lots of women As I've been wandering from town to town Oh, Lord, won't you please Help me Do you want to touch it? it? <laughs> <laughs> right. Very nice. <laughs>